there's a lot that people don't know about me that I want them to know. Your life. Do you know it's weird? <laughs> Do I know my life is weird? I don't see it as being weird. Taking some time out for myself and, you know, uh, I've been recording for a while. I haven't been completely in the spotlight, but like I've been doing what I've always done. Not every performance can be a good performance, you know? You're gonna have some amazing performances and you're gonna have some okay performances. Some people, they have their lulls where, where they're not really doing that much. They're not winning awards. They're kind of keeping it low key. You can't always be out there, you know? So, do you feel ready to put yourself back into the spotlight? Big time. You know, I'm very weary of a lot of things, you know. You're guarded, you know. You have to be that way. Otherwise, you get to take advantage of and get in situations like I did the past year. Within me that wanted to rebel out. I never wanted to become one of those prisoner people. I always wanted to feel free and get in my car and go and not let people make me feel like I had to stay in my home. There were people into my life that were, that were just bad people. And I was very guarded at first, but then I went to a point where I ended up letting them in because I was lonely or whatever the fact and I really paid the consequences for that I'm big time but I just feel like you know you do something wrong and you learn from it you move on but it's like I'm having to pay for it for a really long time <laughs> I sit there and I look back and I'm like I'm a smart person like what the hell was I thinking it's like something that my spirit just has to do. I would be dead without dancing. I feel really well, and there's some days where it's in my face where you're like, oh, she's feeling it, you know? So it's like, um, I have really good days, and then I have bad days. It was a part of the, the magnitude of what I'd become. So then when he was gone, I was like, what am I supposed to do with myself? Do you know what I mean? I, and I was so young, I didn't know and I was really famous. Keep myself, you know, so I became like just a goer. I'm married for the wrong reasons instead of, and then that led me, instead of following my heart and like doing something that made me really happy, I just did it because for the sake of the idea of everything. And um, it just led me on a weird path. The, the marriage to Kevin or the marriage to Jason? Oh, Kevin. An album for himself, and he started wanting to do things for himself, and I just never saw him anymore. And, and when that happened, things just got really weird. People started thinking that I was doing drugs. and helped staying in LA, having wherever I went, having two infant babies, and having 30 cars outside your house. I couldn't go anywhere. It's either I'm either a prisoner in my home, or I'm going to travel to Miami or New York and get out for like a week or two, then come back. Do you know what I mean? Like I would have taken the kids and I would have gone to Louisiana. I think back now and I'm like, you know, why didn't I, in that fragile of a s go to Louisiana? Like I was going through so much artificial stuff with my kids and with Kevin and all that stuff at the time and he just left me and I was devastated, you know? And um, people thought that it was me like uh, going crazy and stuff like that, but people shave their heads all the time, you know? But I mean, I was going through a lot, but it was just kind of like me just feeling a form of a little bit of rebellion or feeling free or, you know, shedding stuff that had happened, or, you know. Why did you not tell anyone that's what you were doing? Did huh? you, why did you not tell anyone that's what you were doing? I don't think it was anyone's business, really. You need to use words to go through what you need to go through. Things that go on with me aren't right. And that, that's where I get a little jaded, you know, going to a certain place and wanting to get ice cream and like, you know, a certain time of night and wanting to walk down the grove and feeling the crispy air and having a stroll with one of your friends and, you know, those are the times where I'm like, I wish I wasn't famous so you could feel a part of the people. It's amazing, like the first year or two, you know, because you're I'm a celebrity. Times when people ask you for your autograph, it's like such a high. You're like, I'm famous. Stop. I wanted just for everything to stop and to shut it off. Just You're so busy, you don't see what's going on. Then you go da da da, you don't have time to stop and think. How does somebody go from being a celebrated entertainer to being a victim of that success? 
Oh, see, I don't like that. A victim of that success. No, but I, I, I don't think you're a victim. I think you're a lot stronger than that. But in a, in a way... I've been placed in that category for some reason. And it, I hate that because like, he's sitting here complaining and stuff like that. I hate that. I hate it when people do that. But I try to make it as normal as possible for me. We'd pack up and we'd take a trip and we'd go. It's just like spontaneous excitement, fun things like that. A pretty cool chick, you know? And I'm not really that way anymore. So liberated and feel like myself. Stuck in this place and it's like, how do you deal, you know? And you just cope and that's what I do. I just cope with it <laughs> every day. Like you can't really go there in a complete state of happiness because you're scared that it's gonna be taken away, you know? So it's better just not to feel anything at all and to have hope. The way I feel, it's like they hear me but they really not listening. It's like, it's bad. That's extra. <laughs> what are you going to say to that? Yeah, when you go to jail, there's always the time that you know that you're going to get out, you know. Do you feel out of control in your life? No, I don't feel like it's out of control. I think it's too in control. There's no excitement. There's no, there's no passion. There's no, like, it's just like Groundhog Day every day, you know. So. That your life was out of control because you were running around all over the place. Can you talk about that time? Okay. It was just a really, really bad time in my life, and it's crazy. Different ways. I don't know how. Maybe I had traumatic stress or I don't know what how I dealt with it really but I just remember I did not want to be at home that was my home with them and every time I went home it was like oh god I can't be here so when I was in my car and when I was driving I was going somewhere I'm definitely angry with myself for letting people take advantage of me. Um, angry with people for taking advantage of me and for letting it go on for so long. But I have to go on with it. Um, I look at it for what it is and I have to move on with it. Let it go. I have um, two precious jewels, my two boys, um, which get me out of bed every morning and my job which um, those two things have really, are the two things that have kept me going really strong for the past three years. So you have to believe in God, you know what I mean? I'm like, I completely believe in God. To be a happy person, I choose not to be a bitter person. If I have a bad day, I get really, really angry with myself and I flip it and I tell myself I'm gonna have a good day. I'm going to be strong, I will be strong, and that's how I choose to be. Perception out there that's not even really me. I think people um, believe what they read and what they hear, and it's not even really the truth. And I feel like it's important for me to do this film so people will understand what's really going on. I want me to strive and do well and, you know, um, and do my thing and be powerful and be a strong woman. We're coming to the end of our time together, and what I would like to ask you is, what do you want people to take away from this film? That I'm just like them. I love my babies, and I work really hard. I'll have a good book one day. A good mysterious book. It's gonna go dark. The cruelest part of the world. The cruelest part. You see the most beautiful part. Do you know?
worth it because you wouldn't see the other one without the other one. But that cruel part is damn cruel. And you'll never forget it. I've been to both places. Yeah. Now I try to avoid situations from the past that may threaten me. How do you do that? I go through life like a karate kid. <laughs> <laughs>